Okay. We are live. All right. We are live on Twitch. Facebook is coming. Yep. Waiting for Facebook to catch up. It's a little slow today. Lots of people on their Facebooks today. Checking out what everything's going on in the world communicating with family and friends gone mostly doing memes yeah yeah cat memes are really popular on the facebooks that one too i like that one i'm not i'm not real i'm not real good with them with them twitters uh, I don't know about them Twitters too much, but I know about the book of faces and the Facebooks. Those are those are pretty nice. I am seeing things. Are we live? We're gonna be here in just a second. It switched to a different window. It just did a whole bunch of stuff on me, so. Please do you know it start it go ahead and uh this Please will be do you caught up start to it go ahead seconds. Let me get out of that. Uh, I was just looking at the Pop Culture Cosmos Facebook and I think I was logged in as Pop Culture Cosmos so I just switched it back to my own mm. doodle hopper thing of gidge. As one of my wonderful children used to say, that thing of gidge <laughs> instead of that thing of jig cute Ugh. they used to be now they're all grown up ain't so cute no more yeah how does that happen they get old glad i don't you still working on that All right. Well, hello, Twitchy people. You know what? We I'll are update that live. as we go. Yep. Yeah, we can go live. We're live and silent here on Pop Culture Cosmos on Twitch. <laughs> okay, we're good. Hey, there we go. Let me jump in there real quick. Give it a like and a follow. All right. Social media. Thank you so much for joining oh. us on today. Sorry. Where did yep. that come from? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. All right. Do that one. All right. So, as Gerald always says, thank you for joining us here on Pop Culture Cosmos for another edition of Demolition Force. Uh, this is episode 20 of Demolition Force, 40 overall of this campaign. I am Roger, your DM. Gerald is going to be late today. He actually has things to do outside of Dungeons and Dragons, if you can believe that. <laughs> craziest thing i've ever heard i i i don't understand it i just can't comprehend that <laughs> anyhow we are going to continue with this uh we are missing two people today so far hopefully gerald will be able to join us before we finish up unfortunately uh mitch uh the wonderful doog will not be able to join us today uh but i think we have the full cast of everyone else here um but uh, before we get started into the game, we will follow our tradition. We have some other wonderful podcasts that uh, we like to introduce here and announce, uh, starting with the lovely Melinda and her Wizards and Wine. Uh, so I look after Fridays on Pop Culture Cosmos, and um, we are running two different ones. There's Wizards and Wine, which is a group of girls um, and we were playing through Tomb of Annihilation. We've been gaming together for about three years, podcasting for the last two. Um, sometimes we follow the rules. 
sometimes even the storyline makes sense on a wild and crazy episode. So uh, you can check that out. We do um, also release fully produced uh, podcast episodes. We try to make them commute length so you could listen to it driving to and coming home from work. Um, on opposite Fridays from Wizards and Wine, we do Warlocks and Whiskey, where we play through um, some pretty great one shots that I've kind of had for the last couple of years that I've been holding on to for Wizards and Wine. But uh, right now we're playing through the cycle of Cerberus, uh, which is uh, based on the uh, Hercules uh, mythology. So you get to go through all of the trials of Hercules. It's pretty neat. And boys get to play in that one. Yes, they do. Uh, is Rob there? I sure am. All right. We also have Dungeon Master Rob, who does our Tuesday shows. Uh, if you follow us at all here at the Pop Culture Cosmos, so you can find me here on Tuesday, uh, I've actually started to bring in a multiverse. Uh, so bringing in some of the characters from all the other games that have all these wonderful DMs play. Giving you guys a uh, little taste of everyone involved. Uh, you can catch that every Tuesday at 2 o'clock. You can also find me at Vampires and Vitae, which is a highly manicured uh, podcast that drops every Friday. We're getting, we just passed our year uh, anniversary on St. Patty's Day, and we're getting close to ending the first true chapter of Vampires and Vitae, and we'll start up with uh, Season 2 right after that. So it's a really good time to join us. Thanks, Rob. And then there's one more last, but certainly not least. There are some reckless moves that happen every Monday night. Is that right, Michael? Yes, Monday night, 8 o'clock. Uh, reckless moves is a whole bunch of idiots that play D&D, and we record it because I'm a masochist. So um, <laughs> we have a great time. Tonight, though, we'll find out if they live from the attack of Endorma, the mother of Nightscale. The dragon they kill... Ooh. God, when they were like third level or something. So mom was mad. And that's how the episode kicks off tonight. That sounds absolutely amazing. All right. Um, then we have Andrew, who is another one of our DMs. We do have Andrew. Andrew, speak. Talk about that wonderful Tomb of Annihilation. No, not Tomb of Annihilation. Which one are you doing? Are you running a team? Uh. Ooh, that sounds like fun. All right, I think we have covered everything now. Mitch isn't here right now, uh, but uh, DM Mitch, the, the player who plays Doog in this campaign, uh, he does uh, the weekends. Uh, he has one on Saturday morning and one on Sunday morning. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot remember the name of the Saturday campaign. Any of you guys playing in it can remember the name? There you go. I'm not in that one, so I can't remember it, uh, but I do know that. Awesome. And that's uh, Kobold Press. And then on Sunday, we are playing The Curse of Strahd. Uh, and Mitch DMs for that one. That is a really fun one. Uh, he's, he's trying to kill us all a lot. But that's what that whole game is set up to do, is to murder everyone all the time. <coughs> so each player gets to play 45 different characters because the DM kills everybody so much. Yep, going for a record. Um, but I think that's everybody. Did, did I forget anybody? Mm, no, just a big <clears throat> shout out to uh, Pop Culture Cosmos. Thank you so much for hosting us, as you do every week. Yep. Gerald, uh, and Gerald should be with us later on uh, uh, unless the doctor decides that uh, they want to keep him for a while because he is quite entertaining. Yeah. <clears throat> and I can't blame him if they do. Yeah. But for today's adventure with Demolition uh, Force, all right, we are live uh, on last Twitch. week, Facebook Demolition is Force was yeah. in the city of Burdusk and 
Uh, they got All to meet right. with Queen Cerulea Dragon Breast. A dragon um, breast. A dragon uh, breast. Interesting. Uh, breast. Interesting. Uh, and then the, Interesting. Uh, and then the group decided that they were going to go looking for decided to go looking for decided to go looking for decided to go looking for working with 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 but uh, they're trying to find out uh, who try to find out city of Perdusk is trying to find out with the cult of the dragon, uh, the the cult of Tiamat, basically, uh, also known as the cult of the queen. So they uh, went down to the the docks and sort of did a little stakeout. They found a ship, or they got a contact with somebody. Found out about a ship. Uh, approached the captain of the ship who wasn't real happy about them approaching her. And then they were staking out the ship. When we finished up, they had just heard the, the carts and wagons bringing supplies coming around the corner. They hadn't quite gotten onto the pier yet. And uh, demolition force decided they were going to intercept. At least that was the plan that I was told last. Let's find out. Oh, right. you forgot the most important thing, bottomless mimosas. Oh, bottomless God. mimosas. Yes, and tiki hats. <laughs> I had a pretty good mimosa yesterday. There you go. <laughs> I had a bottle of champagne ready, and we didn't drink it Saturday night, so we had mimosas yesterday morning. But it wasn't regular mimosa. It was pineapple orange. Hey, a mimosa? Yep. Mimosa, nice. Now you're just showing off. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Uh, my favorite is, uh, what? Well, that's horrible. Oof. That's terrible. What Hold on. Let's, why don't we? No, we have no sound. No, uh, there's no, no noise in the house yeah, at all. Yeah, we're nice and. Jesus. No, it's, it's Yep. Okay. Hold on, we're we're working on it right now. Soundboard. It's probably on the board, huh? No, can't be on the board. Well yeah, I could see a ping when when Andrew well, speaks. This I have probably pushed the wrong button. I said let Olaf push the button. It was pretty much the same thing as me pushing him, so <laughs> Duke must, Duke must have the brain have cell today. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he's not here. Did that stop it? Yeah, there's no more. Well, you have every microphone open, babe. <laughs> I think. I... Oh, I would say, oh, nope, I just cut out. Yep, that's me. All right. Cool. You had everything open. Is that better? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, Oh, Roll20 is broadcasting audio? Okay. Sorry, Raj. No, it's all right. Take care of that stuff. I am doing things in the background. You're giving me a chance to get things caught up. I think that we're... Yeah, we're good. All right. Yep, good. Clip. Yep, we're clean. Right. Of course, it was. M many things are. Yes. I'm still opening tabs. Okay. Um. I believe in the last game, some of us were still. Because we had like a three watch on that, right? So some of us are still at mm -hmm. the hotel, not the hotel. Um, someone had gone to get everyone else. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take Shamat Khan off of the map for the moment until he arrives because I don't like to play. Well, and now I'm on the wrong layer with him. Move him out of my way. 
put him up there. <clears throat> All right. Now, I do not have a map for this interaction, but basically, you guys were headed up towards this end of the pier. Uh, this is a large pier. Um, let me show you on the map of Zebradusk where we are. Coming on down here. Yep. Shift ping for everyone. So, you guys are on this pier. And you're headed sort of inland where you hear the carts coming from here. They haven't quite turned onto the pier yet, so you have a, the opportunity to approach them and do what you want. Hmm. All right, so sorry, ping that again. Oops. Put you back on that map. Yeah. So you guys yep. are at the yep. at that token, and the carts are yeah still around the corner here. And we have kind of uh, we've but we we have informed the guard right. So regardless, there's like a blockade someplace. Yeah, this yeah the the city guard uh, has asked you guys not to start a fight <clears throat> if at all possible because they have ships. At the ready, uh, they will blockade this ship so that it can't leave, and they will send their troops from the outside in, uh, meaning they're going to board this ship from the outer side, from the water side, and push everything towards the pier if right, it right, right. if it comes to that. <laughs> so right. they have put in that request, but this is demolition force, and I never know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's go see. It. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's see if we can't. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like, uh, like around the corner before they get to the view that we could be seen from the boat's perspective. Right. So you guys go up around the corner. Is it the whole party approaching? Graceland. Yep. Remy. Was it Graceland or was he Remy at this point? Yeah. He's Graceland at this point. He switched. No, it. that's right. That's right. He did. That's right. Graceland did come back. Uh, because he went he went into this little hut thing down here and where it reverted back to yep. Graceland and he had that note from Remy. Right. About killing the captain and stuff. Well, let's yeah. see what Chrysler can do this time. I mean, he's the one that can control. Hmm. Why? But I did ask a question. Why? We've never had anything like this before. And who are you? You're not guard. Doctor Who, this guy, man. <laughs> Doctor Who. Um. Wink. Oh. What's the DC? All right. <clears throat> Here. Is. Wow. Oh. 
GM rolled. It was a 19. Make sure you can. <laughs> so that was the first guy got the 19. So, yeah. All right. So two of them passed, two of them fail. Okay. Well, they they they're all like driving carts. So there's there's four carts approaching. They don't have any guards with them or anything like that. It, it's not like a precious cargo that that they're that they're carrying. And the first guy He's like, you're not a city guard. Why are you stopping us? Uh, Citizen. Lady Cerulea. Lady Cerulea also wants her peer to run properly and without issue. You do realize that holding us up is going to hold up the ships that we're about to load, and it's going to give a bad reputation to the city. Go ahead, citizen. I've got nothing to hide. Yeah, that's really what we're looking to try to track backtrack it to the merchant. Um I'm not even gonna make you roll for this. So you look through the through the things because the guy, even the one who wasn't he just willingly let you go through all the stuff. And you find like uh food supplies, things that a that a ship would need for about a week journey. Um <clears throat> nothing out of the ordinary. Um, there's, uh, like wood for the stoves and uh, fresh water in barrels. Uh, there's a couple of barrels of wine, um, dried food, some fruit, some meats, uh, packed in salt. Yes. And yeah. then the, and then the guy pulls out his own piece of paper and shows it to you and says here are the purchase orders for everything and here is the order for the ship from the harbor master that i am supposed to load all of this sure okay at least we got at least we have more information now Hey, Roger, did this, yeah. I know I'm not there, but did this seem to be more, like, did it seem to be, like, more than a ship normally would have for just a simple reply? Nope. Uh, re, uh, like nope. Restock? It's, it's just about what a, a ship would need for for a week's journey. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. But it's only, uh, like, provisions for the ship, just, mm -hmm. just consumables. I mean, I think it's just the two of you there right now, just you and Graceland. Uh, yeah, everybody else is there. All right, cool. All right. Well, no, I mean, they seem to be pretty cooperative. I know uh, Linda Nell was the one who who heard everything coming around the corner first. I can, uh, I go up to um, Ozark. Have we met the Harbor Master yet? This is a new name that I don't believe that we've talked to. I don't know if we want to. Well, because we already know that we have the ship essentially blockaded, we're not really worried about them leaving. 
what we really need to figure out is because this seems like simple supplies, just what it would take to survive on the waters for a week. What we really need to find is like a big, like a a bulk buy of leather for armor, or a bulk buy for you know deals to make the swords, or perhaps a huge amount of potions. So, like, if, if we call the guards now, perhaps we'll overplay our hand and bring the attention that we don't want. I feel lightheaded. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Too many mimosas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't even have the brain cell right now, so that was a, that was a yeah. I was going to say, he's overclocking the brain cell. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so you guys are letting the the uh, cargo go. I mean, if everyone else agrees, I mean, I think that if we spend any more time on this particular delivery, we'll. Uh... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, uh, Roger, can can I wait for them to pass, and when they do the delivery, like yeah, pass us, and like do the delivery? Is there any way that I can get a vantage point to see if like? Whoever accepts the, is there like a, a familiarity in between them? Is there a secret handshake or a under, like a wink and a nod? You know what I mean? Like an insight check. Sure. Cool. Well, then I will, I will move. Just for me, uh, give me a perception. Okay. And uh, Smith, you don't detect any magic coming from any of their stuff. Ooh, really could call those, okay. Smith. That was, a, that was a really smart play. Just in case there's any illusions. I can barely hear you, man. Yeah. All right. So just a perception. I don't. I don't know what it, what it is. There. Uh, there you yeah. go. That's better. Whatever you did, that's that's better. I didn't do anything. Yeah. You might have just moved closer to your microphone or something. That could. Have my microphone is built into my headset. It's like. Did right next to roll? Oh, yeah, I did roll. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I definitely see a ship. It's. It <laughs> And yeah, you, can, you can see there's, there's a ship and, and there's people. You're you're not really seeing anything uh, uh, untoward. Yeah. Because when you think of imbibe, you think a, a, a steel trap mind that picks out all the details. We're yep. all always very impressed, imbibe. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Definitely still floating. It's like a sieve. Yep. Okay. So the uh, the carts come around the corner. They they pull up to the ship. The first guy gets out. And he walks up the gangway and he approaches the the guard at the gangway. Pulls out the papers. And you guys can see all of this happening. He pulls out the papers and hands the papers to her. Waits for her to to read everything. And she open tells the other crew to open up the uh, the hatch here for the hold. And they start unloading and taking all the supplies into the ship. So one cart at a time, they they unload everything from the carts onto the ship, and they close up the hold. They don't take the gangway away or anything. Uh, it looks like the ship isn't going anywhere yet, and the carts all turn around and head back away from the pier. Can we infer that they haven't taken the gangplank back, that there's still more things to be loaded upon the ship? ship? Sure, you can. Don't know if you're right or not. But sure, sure. It's just it, it. Right. So and now it it is uh, it's probably around uh, eleven thirty at night, getting close to midnight. Yeah, that's. I think the harbor master is a piece that we got. I mean, that was the only thing that was mentioned. We had some merchants, but this seems to be some re- pretty regular. I mean, even if like regular supplies just for the ship, you couldn't blame the merchant that's selling them the hardtack and the you know like like if they're just getting supplies, it's like going to them, going to the actual merchant that sold that. I don't think would be any profitable for us. Uh, 
Oh yeah, James doesn't need sleep. We could just put James. Yep. Yep, James, that's actually a really good idea because you can just stand watch, right? You don't get tired. Oh, even if I could, I could just in the view of the of the ship and go into standby mode. I can still right. observe. Everything. In in low power mode, he's he's still observant. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty smart. So yeah, I guess we're just watching again, right? I mean, unless. I mean, I think chicken. Yeah. Yeah. And in the morning, we'll, we'll check out the Harbor Master, see what we can find about that. Right. It can take second. Uh, I will round out the third if no one else wants to. I mean, bottomless mimosas. It's, it's a really good deal in town. I mean, honestly, and you're right by the water. I mean, you really get the whole picture of the city right here. And it's tiki Hut. It's you know, always it's time. Wonderful. Well it really is. Yeah. You know, I, I'll go back, but the Airbnbs were just too expensive. So, just a minute here. Uh, I'm trying to fix up some things. Come on now. Work with me now. Come on, Pooter. You can do it. Look at that. I did a thing. Made a thing Hooray happen. for doing a thing. I am proud of myself for doing a thing. Our, yes. Right in the middle of my forehead. Okay, uh, so, uh, Smith, give me a perception. Okay, do advantage. Awesome! That low power mode is working out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went into low power mode, but he was facing the other direction. <laughs> this, 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 not exactly fully facing the ship. <laughs> Funny. Oopsie. <laughs> so you don't notice anything. Um, I mean, Red, you're you're with him, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, you don't you don't see any more carts or anything uh, coming on uh, the pier throughout the night. Uh, how long are you guys taking for this shift? I'm staying all night. People are swapping out. Okay. So, uh... Okay. So, whoever's next up... That would be Maddie. Oh dear. Okay, I will, <laughs> I will make sure. Um, All right. Just rotate so, me in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Remy was not in the room. In what room? David, you confused me. Yeah, I wasn't in the room that we were staying in. Oh, okay. So, like, when the red... He was a little too hoity-toity for that. <laughs> the royal backgrounds gotta love them all right I'm uh, back, back session 
so Maddie and Smith. Either yeah. both give me perception or one of you with advantage. Uh, Maddie, I'm guessing you have actual something in perception. Do I actually have something in perception? I believe I've got a plus two. I have zero. Yeah. So, far with it. so Maddie with yeah, advantage. One. Yeah, I've got a plus four. So, right. Advantage. Here come the double net ones. Right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, it's your your shift goes without incident. There's nothing else coming to the pier. Everything seems quiet. Uh, you just notice them changing guards, uh, guards on the ship changing shifts, but nothing unusual. Yeah. Nothing about the ship getting ready to leave kind of thing? Nope. Nope, looks like everybody's uh, bedded down for the night, and they're just doing regular guard shifts. Kind of like yeah. you guys. <clears throat> sure, yeah. Kind of like us, but not like us. Okay. Correct. Linda Nell's working on making potions. Sure. Uh, so who's next up? Um, I'll take a watch unless somebody. I mean, some. I mean, I think the red maybe have better perception than I. Do. He went first. Did yours? Yeah. Right, cool. Anybody have a better person? Let me see what my perception is. Make sure that we're... Uh, perception... Pretty much a... anyone is going to get avenged because uh, Smith is staying all night. Take third. One, I've got a plus four. You got a plus four? Go for there it. There you go, Auden. Better. Ben, you're a little low. Your voice. Yep, get him, Ben. Plus four is better than my... All right, Auden. Uh... Yeah. Ben. Roll it again. again. Yeah. Do it with advantage. Yeah. All right. That's better. All right. Yeah. So, uh, again, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, nothing on or off the pier. Um, the the ship is uneventful. There's nothing going on. All right. It's the next next morning. I have an idea. Okay. All right. Uh, that, since that was in pow basically uh, the central mode, would that be a counter as a long rest? Yeah. Just that That's okay. how yours works, right? Yep. I can observe, but still be powered down. I just, right. I, it was bad because I had to regain a spell slot. <laughs> yeah, right. it, it's static. It's next morning, I do have an idea. Okay. All right. Um, I've been drinking here for two days, and I'd like to go up to the barmaid or the bartender. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. Sir, uh, do you happen to have a, a big keg of ale? Um, no, not here on the pier. We don't. So it's just more like the bottle service, like the wines and the wonderful mimosas that you serve us. Yes, uh, it's pretty much just mimosas. All right. How much for seven bottles of your finest mixes of your mimosas? The bubbly stuff. Uh, well, we are actually out of that because uh, there was a dwarf here who's been drinking it all two days. <laughs> so what do we have left? <laughs> <laughs> I have about a half a bottle left. Do you have any of the hard stuff? No, all we do here is the mimosas. <laughs> so I've just, <laughs> just bottomed out this whole business. He drunk them dry. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I have actually experienced this before when I was on vacation. My wife and my friends drank literally all of the amaretto that they had for the resort. Oh, that's great. Incredible. That's great. <clears throat> so, so literally this place is emptied? They have a half a bottle left right now until they can supply. All right. Well, uh, I'll take half a bottle. I'll take the half bottle that you have left. Five silver. All right. Uh, when Gerald comes back, someone remind him that uh, <laughs> so profit that of our group campaign. And don't uh, worry about it. I, I got it covered. 
All right. So I'll take it and I will actively act drunk as in, I mean, like, you know, put on the, like, you know, the side steps and the, the whole thing. Right. The, the full drunken monk thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and, I, and I'll bring out my, uh, the moonshine that I had. And I'm going to try to stumble upon the, uh, the, the gangplank up here. Okay. As if I'm slightly lost. Like coming to myself slightly. Or you fancy yourself a drink, I'll say to my first person that I come across. Yeah, it would be this this guard here. Stop. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Would you would you like a little bit of a nip? I know it's a little bit early, but uh it's always a good way to start a good day. I'm not uh, in the mood for a drink at the moment. Uh, time doesn't bother me of when I drink, but I am on watch. I will not drink while I'm on watch. The oh, captain will have my head. No one's even up yet. No one would know. How about just no. a wee little, wee little bite? No, and you're going to need to leave. Oh, all right, then. Was... Take your drunken self back down there. Go sit yeah. where you've been half the day. I'll stumble my way back, and I hope everyone's appreciating the stumble walk that I'm doing. <laughs> and, ten of ten. Yeah, Twelve right, of ten. Yeah, and I will fictitiously just keep on humming and, you know, being a, being a drunkard, keep which I... A charade. Yeah, right. I mean, it's not, it's not exactly hard for me to act that way, so, yeah, in Bible. Right. Just, so right. it's, it's about 6 a.m. now, and uh, there's other ships. There's activity. Excuse me. There's activity starting up on the pier. Uh, this ship as well. The crew is getting up. And they're uh, just getting the ship ready for the day. Um, there's uh, more carts and, and people on horses and stuff like that traveling up and down the pier. Going to various ships and things. Um, and then... Do yeah, you guys can take a long rest if you need one. I don't remember, mm. but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, it won't hurt. Right. Lucky you drunk. And then you see a cart stop at the end of the pier. And is it going to drop a token for me? Give me a token. I can do it. Okay. Do a token. Token. Be a token. Come on. Where's the token? Hello. Road 20. Give me the token. <laughs> I demand usage of token. Now, sir. Oh. If it doesn't have time. a token. Yes. Well. Give me that token. Give me your tokens. Give it to me now. Let me see if I can find the other. Before we come to blows. <laughs> is is that your grandal? <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe it is. <laughs> Before we Before see. we come to blows. <laughs> or before we come to blows. Come. You shall give me your token. I, I shall get so many things open. Not only will you give me your token. But you will be glad to give me your tokens. Smile at me as you are giving me your token. <laughs> We've gone off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it because I can't find anything. Somehow all of my tabs opened up in my in my stupid all thing here. All tabs have disappeared. <laughs> oh, they didn't disappear. They all opened up. They're everywhere. There's too many tabs open. Too Somebody much stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what that was. Holy crap. That was all the stuff that I just got. Tabs you should have open. And you seem to have too many of them. You, sir, have passed the acceptable limit. Now i got to remember what the heck I opened. Yeah, so uh, one of our wonderful players, one of your patriots here, has gifted another thing. And that's why everything was open, because I added it to the campaign. 
Ah. So. Ah, here we go. So a gift has caused havoc once again. <laughs> All right. And that doesn't. Oh, this sucks. So much suckage. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find a token for this. And quickly, we're wasting time. Time is but a construct. <laughs> that is a very, <laughs> very grand old <laughs> too. <laughs> Hmm. That's what I should start doing. I should just start taking all of Robbie's characters and doing spoofs of his characters. <laughs> you dare defy me? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, okay. I am. It's what. Holy macaroni. All right, I can fix this. I am. I you want to take a well. quick five, Roger? Will that help? No, no, no. I'm I'm almost here. Okay. Almost there. Almost got it. I just needed to. So close. God. Stupid. Hi, Lady Cerulean knows the cultists have infiltrated almost every city along the Frickin coast. Those were my notes from last week. Hey, there we go. All right. There we go. All right. All right. I think I got this now. Here we go. Let us see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So a cart pulls up to the end of the pier and you... See this lady get out of the cart and start walking down the pier. Why do I have three of her? Well, the driver. But the cart leaves. Do you want me to have a conversation with the driver of the cart? Actually, if I should volunteer that because I catch them. I mean, who's who's there right now? It was Smith, and who was the last one? It was Smith. Okay. Mm. So is someone approaching the cart? You guys can see this token, right? Got it on the right layer. No, it was just just like a, a passenger cart, like a carriage. Oh, okay. Type Never thing. mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, she just moseys on down the pier. She's keeping her ear out. And she heads up here. And you see her speak to the guard. And the guard allows her onto the ship. And she comes up here to speak to the captain. Hmm. Huh. Can any of you... Uh, those of and you, you who can... can turn into small beasts, why don't you do that and see what that conversation is about? So you could see that uh, the the lady who walked up that. onto the boat pulls out some papers, <sighs> and she speaks with the captain. They go over some papers, and then she turns to leave. Well, that was quick and easy. And then she proceeds on down the pier. And she goes down to the next ship and does the same thing. Uh, can Maddie follow her for a little while? Because I want to see if I can see anything that would indicate she's a member of said cult that we are chasing. Sure. Yeah, any kind of like brooch or thing on her clothes or anything along those lines. Perceptify that. You want it. Normal perception. Yeah, that's a really good roll. 
So, no, there's there's nothing about her that that you can see that would indicate that that she's associated with the cult of, of the dragon in any way. And as you're as you're watching her, she goes on board each ship. Maybe. So, uh, are you still following her? No. Once uh, Andrew's character calls me back, I'll go back. Okay. So she finishes up with all the ships and turns around, heads back out. You sure can. Yes. Yes, I am. Mm hmm. Um, actually, this is the first time that this particular cap. Is there a reason you're asking? And who are you? All right. I will verify this. <clears throat> but what is your interest in, in the ships in my heart? Boom, boom. I, if you feel that's necessary, then that's that's fine. But I have things to do. I'm very busy. <clears throat> thank you for your permission. I and I'd like to uh, <laughs> thank you for your what, what is she on a cart? Is she yes, walking she up on a cart? Yeah, she showed up on a cart, but there's no cart to pick her up. She's walking off the pier. Okay. Um, with her back to me, I'm going mm -hmm. to uh, turn into a spider and follow, which oh, has a cool movement idea. of 30. Right. Okay. Just don't get stepped on. Well, I'll just become a druid again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Talk about creepy freaking out the person that stepped on you, though. Yeah, damn spider. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> God, we so need a bard. We so need a rogue. If you're listening and you want to join our game, we need another person. So, All right. yeah, this is not a giant spider. It's just a normal, like, spider you might see mm -hmm. around, and I'm going to basically follow. Okay. To so observe she's... where she goes and... Excuse me. So she, she leaves the pier, and she's headed this way, and she goes to this small pier, and yeah, she goes onto the ships over there. Oh, we're good. <clears> then <throat> after a while, she heads, continues to head on up into the city, crosses the bridge, and heads down to the piers on the other side. That's been some of our best intel, is you transforming into a creature that can get into good places, because we got onto the ship when you were a rat, and now we're getting really good uh, use of the spell. Especially not having a rogue. We got no sneaky sneakies. We got no funny funnies. So she's just spending her morning uh, going around to the different piers and, and speaking to all of the ship captains as she goes around. How long are you going to follow her? Um, well, I can wild shape for, uh, let's, let's see, uh, three hours. So Half I follow for about... Uh, Two hours and fifty minutes. Okay. <laughs> so by that time, she's she's just about finishing up down at this pier. But there's nothing suspicious that I've no, seen. No, she's 
No, she is. She's conducting business. Uh, every ship she goes on to is the same thing. She she approaches the guard. She goes and speaks with the captain. Okay. Uh, handles her daily business and then moves on to the next ship. Mm. Okie dokie. Within that time, has that other guard, the first one that I talked to, has he gotten off duty yet? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I would right. think so. If I see him, I'm going to try to entice him with it. Like, like, you're not working anymore. And I'll wave, I'll bring up my, uh, by the way, it is a platinum drinking mug. So I don't look like a cheap drunk, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, nobody has come off of the ship. So you would have to go onto the ship to try to speak to that guard or catch them as they're changing shifts. I will stumble my way up and be like, ah, you looks like you got off. Is it time for a round? No, it's time for me to go to bed. You're tired. <laughs> can, I, can I try to? And, then, uh, and he says to the other guard, watch out for this drunk. He's been here a couple of times now trying to get me to drink with him. I got more else to go. There's a whole city here. Go somewhere else. I've lost Go my find a tavern. You know, he's a, I would call him a wee little dog, but he's actually quite big. Have you ever envisioned the giant golden retriever? No, that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's quite ridiculous. Just keep him away from your buckets. All right. All right, well, when it works, so I'll stumble my way back down, cooing and hawing as the drunk monk I am. There's a new guard. As he walks away, though, I will you know, shake my bottle at him one more time, just in case. Remy, apparently you had a, <laughs> you've had enough of this shit, Remy. All right. Uh, I'm going to use the distraction. Roll me a stealth. That'd be cool. Because you're invisible, but you're still walking up this wooden plank. Oh, is oh no. I I used the drunk monk's movement yeah. to hide my movement along. Oh, okay. I was saying, can I at least give him a help action there? Because. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hi, okay. you know, you know, I'll allow that. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah hi, <clears throat> so, what are my, you doing? Oh, I'm just going to walk around the boat and try to inspect some stuff while I'm here. Okay. What are you inspecting? Uh, namely, I'm trying to... Uh, is the captain still up top? Yes. Is he talking to people or just looking out? No, she's uh, going over charts and things like that. I am going to start peering at the charts, seeing what they're doing, trying to know where they're going next or whatnot. <laughs> Uh, are you proficient in water vehicles or navigators like that? Nope. <laughs> All right. Then give me a perception with disadvantage. Nice. You're good. What'd you get? All right. So, hey, you can see. It's, bad. it's not bad. Get him, David. Dude. Your token says Remy. Are you Remy right now or are you Graceland right now? Oh, I'm Remy. Oh, you're Remy right now. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a whole different person. Cool, cool, cool. Remember, Remy's impatient, people. Is that that? I'm trying to find my map. Map, map, map. Right. So you wow, see a map. map. That's cool. All right, cool. You see a map of the Sword Coast. It's a really cool map, man. I really like the octagons. It gives you an idea of spatial uh, reality. Yeah. Yeah, the hex maps are great. 
Yeah, that's so, really cool. Yeah, sorry. Um, you see marks on the map that that looks like uh, it's probably ports marked off up here by Baldur's Gate. And another one up here at Waterdeep. <laughs> but aside from that, there's no other real markings. There's just there's name dropping Roger. On it. <laughs> Water What's deep. that? Name dropping much? Oh yeah, you know, just Waters Deep and uh <laughs> and Boulder Skate. Yeah, well, I mean it's it's two of the main ports. So there's there's just uh the, the line marking showing like shipping lanes and things like that on the ship. Uh, on on the water, um, nothing strange. There's no strange markings, no symbols of the cult or anything like that. Hmm. That's what you get from your high low perception. <laughs> yeah, really yeah, good 18, perception roll. Yeah, eighteen on disadvantage is no joke. This, this man. Anything else? Uh, is it pretty relatively easy to get down to the like the sleeping quarters area? Yeah, yeah. Like the uh, the the door here is just sitting open. There's uh, stairs that go down. You don't have to open any doors. You could just walk down there. I'm going to walk down there, see if I can uh, pick up anybody speaking about what they're about to do or if they know anything. Okay. So you go down. It went quiet. Nope. Sure did. I'm waiting for a perception roll. Nope. Let's go, Remy. Perception. There we go. All right. So you're down there. You uh, pass a couple of quarters. Uh, the the crew the crew cabins don't even have doors on them. They just have like like a piece of cloth hung across the doorway. <clears throat> they don't want to have a whole lot of doors if if there's rough weather or something they have to get out in a hurry um and you hear a lot of snoring going on um there's one cabin where you can hear there's two guys inside and it sounds like they're playing cards um they're just talking about the card game and calling each other cheater and liars and laughing and carrying on. And that's about it. Oh. All right. They seem to just be regular sailors. I mean. Yeah. So they're tied in somehow. The goods that we've seen have been pretty commonplace. It could mean that maybe in their, since you're in there already, maybe in the hold, maybe they already have what they're delivering. You know, they could have picked it since they have that trade route. Anything uh, go up uh, and out of the ordinary when I looked, but that was last, that was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> right. But we've been watching this boat. Yeah. So nothing's come on. Nothing's Vigilant. come yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, the crew seems to be, you know, like unable. So they seem to be a very uh, regimented crew, which, you know, says something about military. Mm. That's more maritime than military. Yeah, maritime. There you go. But like, but like pretty much a cracker ship. 
Cracker Jack crew. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're experienced sellers. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Like Merchant Marines or something. Sure. I'm just trying to figure out how mean Remy really wants to be right now. <laughs> See how mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, the place. But I mean, like, if, if you blow our cover right now, we haven't found any information. We followed the harbor master. They seem to be doing the normal thing. We've got good roles on that. So if we if there was going to be something, we would have seen it. We've checked in there. We've checked their inventory. The things going in. We've, we know what there's in their hole because we've looked at that last time. There's nothing crazy inside. Nothing has been put on crazy yet. And I'm drinking this poor bar out of house and home. They should not have said bottomless. No, no, no. They said bottomless. I've only, I only paid once. Yeah, he paid once and drank all their shit. No. They weren't expecting somebody like Imbibe. <laughs> Nobody is expecting anybody like Imbibe. Name wasn't a clue at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Guys, I'm out of ideas for this. I mean, like, we, we're... I mean, at the very least, they're not going anywhere. You know, like, so we, we've we taken a chink out of the supply the tree line. in the first place. Yeah. Just, I don't understand, like, maybe we should go back to, like, finding different ends and seeing if we can hear rumors, because this is going nowhere. Yeah, right. I, I'm, I'm starting to... I'm starting to agree with you. I mean, because because this thing is already like we've we've essentially. I'm gonna start asking people in the street. Hey, do you know anyone in the Dragon Cult? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I can sink the boat, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. But we don't Point. even. You know, hey, a pound of prevention, right? Yes. Just sink the damn boat. Yeah, but. Right, you know, unless uh, the guards are with it and Lady Dragon Breast knows. I mean, the whole town a, could actually be working for this cult. Yeah, but at this point, yeah, and, and we also just need to figure out. I mean, really, what we're looking at is a supply line going into this boat. So, but we've checked all the supplies. You know, everything's come in has been very commonplace, and we've even checked for magical items. So it's not like they were like sneaking stuff in, like in the in the water bar barrels or whatever have you. I mean, the water barrels could have been full of gunpowder or something like that. But well, I didn't really taste it as a rat. Right. No, very. That's true. I could have. Mm. How did he die? Yeah, I'll, I'll go down the hole and, and <laughs> check the the supplies that were brought in. See what yeah, it is. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that, that that there's an avenue. Like maybe they're just maybe we just haven't inspected thoroughly enough. Okay. So what are you doing? I'm yeah. gonna check the stuff that just got brought in. Right. Like, I'm gonna find my way down there and check it out. Okay. So are you? Opening crates and barrels and stuff. Is there anybody around? Not in the hold currently. <clears throat> then yeah, I'll I'll take it and I'll I'll do like little peeks inside to see what uh, what items are in there. You mean aside from what you guys already checked outside before it was loaded on there? Well, I'm actually checking what's inside the stuff. Like if if it was like a I water thought that's barrel. what you guys did with the carts before they got on the pier. Right. Yeah, but there was already stuff pre here. Mm-hmm. No, the uh, stuff that's on the ship I'm going to check. Yeah, what was already in the hold. I okay, so you're you're checking the cargo that was already flies that brought on. 
you know, like a, like a yeah. big bushel of oats maybe has like actually stuffed in it a whole bunch of swords. Okay. Um, so I am going to need a stealth roll because it's going to make noise to open sealed crates and barrels and stuff. Hey, well, nice. it doesn't get better than that. Call <laughs> yourself going. With your Good God. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. And you said we need a road. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, you guys are doing a really good job of infiltrating without having a like rogue or, and without having a bard. Like this is yeah. pretty been pretty. Yeah, this rough. is awesome. The I mean, dice are the dice have been definitely going. on your side today. Yeah. So nobody comes down. They don't hear you or anything. Some crates and every crate that is labeled has exactly what it says inside of it. Give this up. Like this is the wrong place. Yeah. This is not the ship we care about because we've yeah. we've searched it, we've searched the crates, we saw the harbor master. There's nothing suspicious we've seen so far. We've just spent like a day and a half doing this. I agree. I'm seriously about to start just walking down the street. Hey, I'm looking for the dragon cult. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So hmm. um I so oh, I assume I'm I don't see anything from the harbor master. I'm going to fade back as a spider. When out of sight, I'm gonna turn back into my normal form and mm -hmm. just hoof it back. You know. Okay. Maybe we should go and like a thieves guild or something like that. Like no. Remy, how are you leaving the boat? Excuse me. I walk off. Just walking down a gangplank. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Then give me another stealth roll. <laughs> Oh. Okay. We That's went from so a nat 20 inside. to that one. All right. So as you're walking down the gangway, the guard who's standing right there notices the, the boards creaking and, and the gangway moving. Do I see this? And I don't know. Do you? Well, Are you, you looking got... over there? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm on watch. So he, the guard yells, hey, who's there? What do you need? Oh, are you ready to drink yet? I'm not talking to you. I know you're always talking to me. I'm sitting right in front of you. So he starts walking down the gangway with his arm. I start walking so. towards him. Staggering. So he's coming down here. We will go here. You know, I liked your friend a whole lot more than you. Don't have a good look about you. And I'll poke him in the chest. No, nope, he does not find anything <laughs> with that one. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be right back on my barrel if you ever want to finish this up. <laughs> so he goes back up. And you can see that uh, he writes a note on a piece of paper. It's a little scroll that he's had on his side. And that's it. All right. Okay, so I have an idea, guys. But I want to pass, pass the party before we do this. So... Copy. Come on. All right. So what if I get into a fight with this dude and at least, and then get both arrested by the guard because the guards are on our side and then we can at least have one of them in for questioning and it won't look weird. Uh, so I mean, chances are you could sure. probably jump by the entire crew. I mean, Remy can do it and when... They go and throw him in a cell. He can switch back to Graceland. 
Yeah. Uh, what, what I was thinking. Yeah, but I mean, like, if but if the guard comes in and be like, who started this? And they can just take the two of us away and it won't be. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm just trying to figure figure out a way to take one of them I mean, without Eldritch Blasts are gonna be fired. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Remy wants to fight. You guys pulled Remy out. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't work for right now. Like, we need information. I mean, like, we don't need to sink the ship. We don't need to like regardless, we've put this little ship in a bubble. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going anywhere. So we don't even have to capture any of these people because they are already captured. They just don't know it yet. Sure. And that's actually just hearsay. Yeah. Yeah. I hear I hear them say, "Let's get into a fight." <laughs> yeah, I think that um, I think we got to look at other other avenues. Actually, can I find myself a street merchant? Not a street merchant, but an uh, an a uh, like an orphan, like a street kid. Not on the pier. Mm. Okay. All right, then I'll go to the shopkeep because we're all gonna if we're all gonna abandon this, we want somebody to watch the ship at least. Or we can just leave it. You're gonna stay here, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm out of ideas, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, just so you know, at the top of the hour. Sure. All right. So we've been unable to turn any of the crew to give us a little bit more information. What we do know is that the uh, the captain obviously has at least been able to re read the script, so they are definitely tied into it. All of their stuff seems to be pretty normal. The uh, the dock master doesn't seem to be, I mean, shifty in the way that we're worried about. I mean, technically, we have the illusionary script saying we can check stuff. Why not just show it to the captain and let him let us look at the stuff? Unless he wants to fight because he knows he's hiding something. Well, we've already checked all the stuff, though. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we literally just nabbed 20. Oh, oh, yeah, but he doesn't know that we know that he doesn't have anything. I mean, we didn't check the captain's orders or anything like that either. Well, if we're going to do that, we just might as well bring in all the guard, you know what I mean? Like, just to make it really official. I mean, if we're at that point, and we're because essentially the moment we do that, we're we're showing our entire hand that that you're being watched. All right, I, I will I will stay and keep because I'm just become a drunk fixture at this bar, so I think I look the least suspicious. <laughs> suspicious. But yeah, I think splitting the party at this point would be a good idea to maybe pack down some other avenues. It's always a good idea to split the party. Mm -hmm. Remy just oh. wants to kill somebody and he keeps saying it over and over. Let's just kill him. Hold on, Remy. I'll be fine. We have to hey, find out. You pulled little. me out. There will be people 13. To there will be people to kill, I promise you that, because I guarantee you that entire boat is full of horrible people. But what we need to find is where they're getting the resources from. Killing this boat is simple, but that doesn't stop the army. Stopping them at their source, well, that does something. We have another headache. Well, if we kill them, 
we don't have to worry about them. Yes, but then we don't get any information. That man tell no tales. Tell that to the big horde that the other group killed. <laughs> Whoever's going to go out, I'm like, how about you take him with you? <laughs> I'm let off a little bit of steam. <laughs> All right, we're at the top of that hour. You want to take your five? Yeah. Yep. No, right. I'm good with it. Cool. So let's go ahead and take a five minute break. Oh, I'm going to take a five minute nap. <laughs> Get some more caffeine. All right. See y'all back in five. All right, then.
I was built about 300 years during the war in a dwarven fortress. So, like, how does that work? Like, do you just, do you remember where you were built? Like, what, you know, I don't remember when I was real young, but, like, do you have memories of actually, like, being turned on? Really cool. Since the day I came basically alive, I remember every single day. I'm not like most other races. Yeah, I'm just curious. I hope you, you know, hope you don't mind. I'm just like, I've always been I'm just fascinated because I've never seen anyone like you. Those those many forms of warforged. I was mainly built to manufacture to make arms and weapons. Then, oh, and that's how you were able to yeah. like fix, like make your own armor stronger. Yes. And after um, about 10, 15 years after I was built, the fortress came on attack and I was pretty much buried alive for a long time. And you were conscious during all that? That must have been insanely boring. I shut down after the time. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, just because you know, I do I was under rubble, but then about fifty years ago, uh, events came and were exploring and dug me out. Amazing. I led, then I pretty much tried with them to a neighboring city having lost my purpose basically because the war ended with me being buried couldn't finish you know assisting in it i joined the marines and that's how i learned how to fight very cool makes sense well i'm glad you're on our side (laughs) yeah (laughs) up until up until i met you guys i was out on sea off and on then as you probably know my Commanding officer betrayed the ship to drag hunt for him. Now I got better permission to do that. And the cult, this seems like the cult's the best way to find out you know, he's a part of it. So any leads that can get me to the cult, probably get me to him. Well, this, this place is. Uh... A little dry on information, so I don't know. And I think, uh, well, well, elves can drink a lot without getting too drunk. Um, I yeah, imagine if you, you need can drink anything you want, and you'll never get drunk, right? I can drink this entire freaking city and, not and nothing. Yeah. Okay, any drinking contest we ever do, oh, you're on my team. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, not a problem. People don't know, you know. Oh no, I can, I can, can eat and drink like anyone oh, else. Oh, oh, I'm clear on the concept. <laughs> I just think it's it awesome. I just it's sad you, you can't don't ever. Like so, can one. you let yourself be drunk or not? It no. just doesn't work, huh? No, it it's uh, it's complicated. It's just it's not the same. Uh, I don't get the same benefits out of out of. Out of food and drink, I see. Get converted into, you know, the converted. So into- you never have to diet. Cheap date at a bar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys having a bro date? <laughs> we're talking. Hey, we're, we're talking to each other. We're waiting we, to hear some information. I want to make sure I'm hearing what I'm hearing. It's Curious. Just, what? I, I don't. I've never I seen have- a construct. Like right. The only thing I could be jealous of you, uh, I mean, organics, is uh, the thing between your legs. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I don't any of that. So that actually would be really downside. sad without I'm having any sexual drive in existence. That would be legitimately upsetting. Well, only if you 
know, only if you know better. If you don't know better, then it makes no difference. Yes, but you're aware that you. Like, but he's been around the world for a long time. Yeah, and elves live a long time, and so like, you know. No, that's actually I never explored that aspect with a uh, with a war forge. It's kind of very interesting. Actually. Just curious, like because. We haven't really been in a place where we've had a conversation. We've been in a group and combat, so I was just curious, like how that worked. Uh huh. Because there were no war forge where I was from, so this is new. Oh yeah, just not of me around. Well, I haven't seen I haven't seen a war forge myself. Dug out out of fortune. You're the only one that you you've seen in your life, huh? Uh, not in my entire life. I was uh, surrounded by four forges up until the collapse of the fortress. Oh, and since right. Coming out of it, I have. I'm pretty sure we're around. Our our lifespans are, from what I understand, are you know infinite until we're destroyed. Yeah, let's let's try to avoid that. <laughs> Very much, because unlike. You, you guys have the potential on afterlife or reincarnation. We, I, know I mean, some people believe that. Why? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Or forge. I mean, that's. A, I mean, you're sentient. I, I, we have artificial souls. Oh my god. I wasn't going there, but that's interesting. <laughs> Artificial. If you if you had been taken closer work, the chest there is a green orb kind of poking through. This points this is me. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of where all that so lives in you. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, pretty much, if my body's too badly damaged, this would be removed and put placed into another body. But you guys probably don't have the arcane and crafting capabilities of crafting a new body, so I gotta be careful with this one. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure we, we seem to be seeing a lot more Warforges around. If that technology didn't get lost. I can't even, I mean, it's a scary thought to have a lot of you, but it's cool that, I mean, it's cool you exist, but it's a pretty scary thought that a lot of you could, like, together be an army. Yeah, an army of war forces is a really scary thought. Yeah. That's what we were built for. We were built for also, the concept of the Warforge not knowing if he has a soul or not is very interesting and compelling. Artificial soul doesn't... He knows he has an artificial soul. He doesn't know if he dies, does he go ah. anywhere? Yeah. Right. That's the... That's just fascinating. <laughs> yeah. And that D4 was the growth of the beard, so it's getting there. All right. It's about five inches long now. Because of the previous rolls. All right. So Melinda, the 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 claw is just mm -hmm. what they call that intersection. Okay. It's a five way intersection. Sure. That's why I just dropped it into the chat. Yeah, I was just reading it. Okay. <clears throat> it's kind of like uh, what do they call it the five corners. I think it mm -hmm. is in New York. Yes. That kind of idea. Okay, well, um, I think that's the direction Maddie's going to head in. Okay. I mean, a, an intersection that has five corners probably has a pretty diverse cross section of people from this from Burgosk. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right by the the right. entrance slash exit to the city. Yeah, one so of them. Yeah, so Maddie's just going to go and kind of wander around there, maybe find some a shaved ice cart and have a treat. I don't know. She's uh, 
just walking and listening and looking and just like being a tourist, but a tourist with a motive. Find a gnome who's an ancient descendant of frost giant. <laughs> <laughs> Make and save oh, dice. Yeah. yeah. It's like a chihuahua being that far removed from a uh, from a wolf. Yeah, exactly. A gnome that's descended from a frost giant. Yeah, selling shaved ice in Burdusk. <clears throat> All right. But Anybody? same thing. I'm just going to, you know, approach the same way, like uh, very touristy. Like, so Maddie as a figure is pretty intimidating but as a tourist like imagine maddie in like sandals and socks up to her knees in the cargo shorts and the hawaiian print shirt with like <laughs> a tablet around her neck so she can sketch little drawings and stuff like she's going full tourist mode she's not but tourist undercover does that make right. sense am i Big explaining floppy it? hat yeah but like very much paying attention to everything around her and it's going to give her an opportunity to ask some of those stupid questions that may seem innocent on the surface, but is a little bit prying. Okay. You know? Oh. I could even say that she's researching military history and is trying to figure out what the best supply routes from here would be or something. I don't know. All right. Um, give me a perception or investigation, whichever one is going to be better for you. what you got you see and it's just because you're you're actively a, interacting yeah perception is a four but if i'm actively then it should be investigation right right okay i'll roll that okay that's not bad not bad so you maddie's just sort of walking around like you were saying Oh, excuse me. Uh, looking touristy as possible. And uh, I would think that Maddie would just sort of accidentally bump into some people to start conversations. Absolutely, yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, how are you today? Kind of thing. And Beautiful city, blah, blah, blah. The people. Right, so engage in a conversation. Um. So what what kind of of questions would you be asking to to try to glean any information? Sure. Um well um and many could approach this from um like a a student kind of way to approach a thing. So it could be mm -hmm. like she's writing a paper or a dissertation on the connection of um supply routes and um you know, active underground cults or like something that almost gets to the nerve of what we're really after, but just kind of skims it by past a little bit. Just, mm -hmm. just looking to get like reactions out of people to see what uh, their reactions are to words being used like cults and supply routes and stuff like that. All right. Let me roll some dice here. That doesn't really give you much more of a clear question, does it? Yeah. Gives me a little bit to work. So, oh my god, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Lack of oxygen is what it causes a yawn. Um, so uh, through your 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 interactions and and your questioning, uh, you get a couple of answers from from people who. One or two of them seem actually interested in helping someone with their with their studies and and think that it would be neat if you put their name in your paper. Sure, yeah. Famous. It's like people trying to be YouTube famous by sure talking to people who are interviewing on the street. Yep. Um. And uh, so one of them tells you, "Yeah, yeah, the city was founded on trade route because of the." water here um so that's the this town was connected to irabor and town in the middle 
Um, I just got to. Okay. What? Matt. Come on. There go. Asbron. There was a, a town in between Burdusk and Irabor called Asbron. But that town uh, sort of died off after a while. It, it, there just wasn't enough trade to keep the town going. And it's just been abandoned for at least 100 years. Not too many people even know about it. Mm, okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, Burdusk and Irabor, they're, they're uh, not exactly twin cities, but uh, aligned as, as far as defense and, and trade go. Uh, but at the same time, it's kind of weird because while they're aligned, they're uh, they're sort of competitors uh, along the trade route because mm -hmm. Arabor starts closer up to the up to the where the river starts at the Sunset Mountains, and Burdusk is closer to the other big cities of Scornabel and Elturel, things like that near the the Chianthar River. Okay, but. Uh, yeah, we've been around for a long time. It, it, it's a beautiful city. I'm, I'm glad you're you're here and and gonna write about us. We'll come and visit, and we can get some more some more money coming in here and and help out all of our our little businesses here in our city. Um, um that's really interesting. Um, I've never heard of of Azron before. Actually, I think someone else may have mentioned it once before. I know I have. Let me let me show you. I can show you right where it was. Because you've been there. Really? Yeah. Yep. So that's like where that camp is. Yeah. Was. Okay. All right. All right. Interesting. Okay. Which could be why the, the cult took over that particular spot because it used to be a town or a city yeah. there. Makes tons of sense. If I was going to lead a cult, I would find a vacant city as well. <laughs> <laughs> right but from what lady cerulea told you uh uh general gaudet took care of it at least he said he did right well maddie's not going to argue with general gaudet nope. so then another person that you talk to uh is is just as eager to talk because there there's a lot of pride in the city. Um and they give you a different story and tell you that it was about the trade routes in the going into the mountains. That uh the water was sort of secondary. Right. And that the the trade mount trade routes uh, let me zoom in here a little bit so I can see See what I'm talking about. Do, 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 do. Here we go. All right. So here is Burdusk. Let me mark that on the map there. That's Burdusk. Here is Arabor. Mm -hmm. So there were uh, trade routes between the the reaching and the Sunset Mountains and stuff like that. So little villages and things, uh, the elves of the reaching woods uh, would trade with uh, Burdusk so that their goods could be traveled uh, up and down the river. Uh, and... The uh, some of the small places, uh, villages, and stuff in the Sunset Mountains would also have trade routes that came down, uh, either th through Arbor or 
Asbron or Burdusk because those were the three closest to the river. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's basically where the the town came from. So the the land trade route between the Sunset Mountains and Burdusk really haven't been used in a very long time uh, because they started just trading right with Irebor <clears throat> and going down the river and making the water trade more accessible. So the land routes really aren't there anymore. Like but impassable or just passe? Just, yeah, they just sort of went by the wayside. They've been okay. left. Uh, occasionally somebody will travel that way, but the the roads are, excuse me, the roads are becoming overgrown mm -hmm. from in use. Doug. <laughs> Happy puppies. But that's what you get from a couple of hours of accidentally bumping into people and talking to them. Right. All right. Who else is doing something? Well, I have a, a bit of an idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's hanging out with me? The, the red, right? All right. And you guys are still at the pier, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the red. This is the first time he's had a drink with me, right? All right. Well, first of all, before we start, what changed your mind? I mean, you seem to be uh, uh, definitely mostly the time on your guard. Why did you decide to have a drink? Uh, I, c I can understand. So I have myself a wee little bit of an idea. So, I know. <laughs> so, rain quite a large port. You know when men speak the most is when they're relaxed in the bedroom. I guarantee you there's some dark lizards around here that we could probably ask for their services and then uh, get some information from them. <laughs> All right, more red. Perhaps your squire. I mean, like he seems to be a young man, so we could break him in. I mean, has he before? Is, he, is it the first time that he'll be enjoying the company of a woman? So why don't you call him over and ask him to yourself? That way we're not just uh, signing him up for something maybe he doesn't want. Also, we don't... Oh, that's what I'll definitely do. Okay. That's the, the, the empty bar of the bottom of this mosses. What kind of ceremony? Hmm. <laughs> I, I would say that the, uh, the, the owner would, would let you sort of rent it out for a little bit if you wanted. I mean, at this point, I've definitely. Sure. Mm -hmm. Three gold. <laughs> <laughs> 
sure he's white. That is amazing. I'm sure he looks a little white faced. I see. I see. I like I I I look at him and I look at my mug and I'm starting to run out of of this amazing, very rare and illegal uh, uh, hillside uh, dwarven moonshine. And I give him a little bit in little bit in the cast and be like, you'll, you'll probably want a little bit of fortitude before you go out. But it's important. You're not just going to have a good time. What we need is information. Yes. I will, but I'll throw my what kind of over. job are you getting? That's the question. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> oh no, what what, what is sending him up, up like a lamb and slaughter? I'm just gonna make sure he's not rolled. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. That's exactly where my head was too. Pod, Padrick, yeah. Padrick. Yeah, that's the break. Was like, what's up with the ceremony? Well, it was more just for fun. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. As I did before. He gave him the talk about the birds and the beads. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Before, well, I'll, I'll start We're trying to hire a lady of the... Yep. Uh, I'll start walking. Part of... Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, hey, two is better than one. That's twice the amount of information, as far as we're concerned. All right, oh, yeah, I'll, start, I'll, I'll start walking Podrick up the docks, trying to find myself, trying to find him a lizard. <laughs> hey, you've done this to us, Roger. We've done every other avenue. This is swampy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mitch when I need him? <laughs> so, like, I'll talk to you. What's your squire's name? I'm sorry. Okay. Torfin. Torfin? Oh, yeah. Torfin. Are you looking for something big and brawny? Are you looking for a boy? Are you looking for a girl? What's your really. Your size. Do you like them green and scaly? Because trust me, I've tried that one. A human? Yeah. A help elf. Human. Oh, we can probably find that. So we'll we'll do this until we find his uh, particular we'll walk up the docks as we tell we find something that matches his description. All right. <laughs> this is your not, part, Roger. This is done not where up. I thought today's yeah, right. Today's session was going to go. Welcome to session forty. <laughs> do you think? Do you think I want to be this guy right now? I don't want to be this guy right now. <laughs> session forty, where the DM gets to play a prostitute <laughs> or two. <laughs> Better information with two. Oh my goodness! Uh, you never know. It could be less talking with two. But it has to be on the docks, though, because that's the whole point is to get information with, you know, from. Yeah, so I, I figure you guys are walking. You're you're starting down here, and you're probably just walking here. Right. right. Well, no, but we, we want specifically girls that work here for the guys that come off the ship and then get back on. You're looking for two-tooth Tina. I sure am. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you don't know what you're missing oh my goodness lord again so not my fault you put me here Roger yeah. uh, I know so many interesting yeah. names coming from where I come from or I'm going to make this happen to you yeah it's getting it, weird if if there's anybody any anybody from my old neighborhood who is listening to this, please forgive me for things I may do. <laughs> oh my god! No, I'm not going to go down. <laughs> I, I know quite a few young ladies that I went to school with who wound up in that type of work. Yeah, well, hey, money's money. Yeah, well. Especially where I come from. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. it is. That's what they say. I wouldn't know. Um, Nothing to look down on. Rents got to pay rent. So as, as you're as you're walking along, there's some some young ladies who are obviously offering their wares. Which ones do you like? Yeah, you into redheads? I kind of like the. Yeah, I kind of like the ones with the horn. The, the single horn that she has up that's pierced at the top, that looks very exciting. Yeah, the tiefling one. The one with the purple skin. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it like a grocery store. Like, we're going to help and talk to him. Talk to her. or I mean, It's a transaction. Figure out what you'd like. See if you could take their friend. Talk a little bit about the boats and the guys that come in. It's your first time. Tell them that. Uh, but tell, tell them it's your first time. They'll do a better job. <laughs> All right. So I am not going to role play out this thing. That is not. That is not where we are going with pop culture cosmos. <laughs> The <laughs> she just kind of looks at him and and, and nods and winks <laughs> all the time, sweetie. Wow. You get two or one. Uh, tell you what, high or low? Uh, I'll high. Oh no, no, it's it's you, it's Andrew, it's you. Yeah, yeah, let me. Hey, hey, two. hey. got two, two. <laughs> you get the first timer special. All my life. Every day. Some of them multiple times in a day. Oh, yeah. Your, your father's squire or the hobgoblin squire? Oh, so you're kind of like a slave. Okay. Well, good for you. And then she offers to get down to the business of the transaction. And what in what in No, is that something that you do? As if it was a move? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> but if you know how, I might be able to work it out. It might cost you extra depending on what it is. <laughs> Probably, but I don't really talk a whole lot in my work. been in a very long time yeah most talking that that has gone on because you're on a time limit i just got <laughs> morty from rick and morty in my head is <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> all right you do a lot of talking yeah i can understand yeah what come on come on morty you can do it Oh my god. You are not actually. I, not. I can see the look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> I'm going by. Oh my god. Yeah, so she doesn't have any information. 
incredible. Oh, well, you're all welcome. We got nothing from that? Nothing. <laughs> well, well, he did. <laughs> that was a long way to go for nothing. Yeah. You don't pick the attractive one. Nobody talks to the attractive ones. And I'm next. I'm going to go for the one with the horns. <laughs> Should have went for two tooth Tina. Oh, my God. So bad. So bad. Shame. Ugh. He do anything. <laughs> I, I say to him, is he, I'm sure he has a glowing smile. Oh. <laughs> Can that be the title of the episode? No. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go up to the one with the horn. All right, darling. Right. Have you ever heard of the fury of blows? Ah. Uh. My aunt, Handy Helen, she used to do that one. <laughs> I believe that we're in a cord. <laughs> this is where your kids need to leave the room. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so what I'd like to do is have her roll a constitution roll against my Freddy of blows. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't it be you rolling constitution against her? <laughs> yes. That's far, Roger. I'm not going to walk away from it. Oh my god! It has to be an answer to your puzzle somehow, man. We've put in a lot of pe- we've put in a lot of pieces. <laughs> oh, you guys! I mean, you 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 put a lot of the puzzle together, but is there really a puzzle that you're assembling? <laughs> We've already accomplished our task. <laughs> Just stop the boat. Is that the answer you're looking for? Jesus. You were never given an assignment. You guys, no, you guys I... took. Yes, you assigned yourselves a mission. You were never re- given an assignment or quest or or anything in, in the city. You weren't even really told to go to this city. Oh, screw it. I'm rolling in. It was ship. mentioned once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that there's nothing. I'm just saying that that you guys are, are going down this, this rabbit hole and there wasn't a uh, uh, Yeah, there was no rabbit going into the hole. <laughs> well, you just gave Podrick a great day and apparently I'm going to have one good too. Uh, Torfin. But uh, on that note, let's take a five-minute break. (laughs) And and then we'll come back and we will finish up today's session. (laughs) At the final hour. I need to recuperate. That took a lot out of me. (laughs) You you were definitely your, your man twice. Oh, my God. I mean, Roger, we tried everything else. <laughs> you did.
Welcome back. What? Wonder what we're going to do next. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so glad Maddie didn't tag along with you guys. Oof. Uh, have you seen the trailer for the new Guy Ritchie Jason Statham movie? And I love Jason Statham, so uh, I'm very excited about this movie. It may be the movie that gets me back to the movie. Mm. I got to have a drink with uh, Statham. Did you? Yeah, uh, he was filming in Vegas, and um, he, oh, was that for Crank? Yes. Yeah. For Crank. Uh, yeah, and he was he came up to the comedy club and sat in the bar for a bit, and he was a real cool guy, super quiet, and I had to ask, like, yeah, well, you, are you who I think you are? He's like, yeah. It's like you want to like, hang out with some comedians and like get a drink after? He's like, yeah, I'll hang out with y'all. So he came. Uh, he was real kind. Uh, bought the first round, only stayed for two. Right. Uh, didn't get drunk, nothing crazy. Just, just like he was, it was so normal, which gives me a huge amount of respect for him. Sure, like he's just a dude hanging out, and he really enjoyed that people were just like treating him like a normal dude. I mean, like yeah, you had some up and coming comedian, so there's a lot of star power in that room. But right, yeah, still really fun. Neat, neato, Vegas man. Yeah, right. Hold on, I am gonna roll these constitutions and. <laughs> Dexterity, let's say in acrobatics as well. What do you do? Oh, All never right. mind. I don't want to know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, your dexterity didn't go so well, but your acrobatics came through. Well, you know, not all the boobs work every time, okay? <laughs> you uh, may be a, a little itchy from that first constitution. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh no, God! Nope, hasn't been invented yet. Oh no! You could get a uh, cure disease, a cure disease tablet, <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe a lesser restoration. Yes, but after and uh, pun intended, pumping it for information. Do I get any information? No. Gerald, a minute, really? Gerald is going to have a very strongly worded conversation with y'all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> this was not a bad idea. This is not a bad idea. Yeah. You could get a lot of information this way. Yeah. Uh, it was not a bad idea. Hey guys, Seven's uh restarting, so he'll be back in just a minute. Oh, okay. okay. Yep. So no information. No. Like I said, he got a little itch. Right. Let, let's go blow up this boat. Let's get done with this boat. I'm tired of this boat. stupid boat. No, they said they didn't want to. We have like a, we, we have, I mean, like, since we can tail them or whatever have you, we've. Better got... yet, let's go see if they destroyed that place. Right. And also, DM, can I roll for hint? For what? Hint? For a hint? For a hint of what? The next step? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty good with a sandbox here. You oh, guys are just... Remember, all he the... did say we're not supposed to be here. You guys I mean... are just finding all the cat turds in the sandbox. Yeah, right. As I mean, especially with our last engagement, this is legitimately uh oh, what's that video game? Uh Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Wide open. Yeah. This with terrible tech. radio stations. I like those radio stations. Sure. I'm sure you do. Okay. Yeah, right. So what are we doing? Well, I'm coming back with a grin on my face. <laughs> Pulling ass out of town. <laughs> I mean, 
we, we've kind of done what the what the matriarch of this area has wanted us to do, right? Like we found the boat that is taking the things. What we haven't found is the merchants that's pro pro providing. Uh... Right. Yeah. Oh wait, but wait, wait. We did go back. Tell them the boat with no name is here in the docks. They are getting loaded with the provisions, yeah. so we can leave and let Breast Dragon Breast do her job. Right. Because the ship is going right. to leave. They're going to capture the ship with or without the junk that's supposed to be in it, and then they'll find out who is doing it. Yeah, regardless, I think that we've done our little piece, at least for what she asked. So now we got to figure out what we're doing. I mean, I think we, I, I mean, if we're, yeah, we're just going to go back to the general at this point. And Maddie needs to pick up a couple. All right. Okay. Yeah, Maddie's going to find a place to get uh, her, <laughs> her peaches juiced so she can have peach yeah. juice. <laughs> it, it'll travel better. Stop it! But out. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Maddie just squeeze the juice out of the peach. Yeah, I suppose. Squeezing the juice. Squeeze the juice, man. I love that you just like cross-platformed uh, Estonia Man and uh, Goofy movie at the same time. <laughs> Amazing. Hello. Hey, sorry. Oh, so, I mean, if, unless anyone else has what to do next, I think that just going to a good day. I mean, like we have, we've done everything we can with this boat. We've watched it for two days. We've looked at all the cargo. We've looked at its hull. We've tried to befriend the crew. We've tried to befriend the 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 lizards. We've tried to find other pieces of information around this. Like, I think this is maybe a dead end. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm missing something, like please tell me if I'm missing something. Anybody in the group? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Without like spending like the next five sessions destroying this town, that we're gonna find anything. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think that would work out very well for you guys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. We go out with an earthquake and a. I I go out with uh, an earthquake, an ice storm, tidal wave, yeah. and then I turn into a dolphin to swim away. <laughs> so one party member lives. Yeah, we call that the blowhole. That's suit. not good for the whole party, yeah, but right. it'd be a pyrrhic victory for sure. Although now that you say dolphin, no, that wouldn't work. I was thinking that maybe you could like follow the boat. But we already know where they're going. We've seen their map. Which I is, think we're done here. Yeah, I think we're done here. Unless anyone else disagrees. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you guys did make some contacts here. You did get some good supplies. Right. So oh, it's not yeah. a complete waste. You want to see if the uh, cult camp actually got destroyed? That's the information we have. Yeah. That Gade, uh took care of what we sent him to, to take care of. Yeah. Let's just go confirm it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, trust me, we won't forget this wonderful cities. Uh, especially a uh, specific uh, young individual will always remember. Do it. Ron. What doesn't show? An eight? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
James with a 14, uh, you see me scratching my palm that has all the hair on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. The hairy palm. And my husband. <laughs> I don't take any of the blame. Roger put us here. Was everything no, I, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. You guys decided to go here. Episodes. I think you need to out. shave your palm there, vibe. Shave your palm. Yeah. I think you're actually, I think you're right. Even if I lose the aesthetic value of it, this is, this is, un, this is it's incorrect. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go to, um, let's go see the general. And I know Matthew needs to, uh, actually, you got your peaches squeezed, so you don't even need to get new peaches. That's right. Mm. Also, you're looking a little bit smarter for some reason. Just notice. Thank you. You know what, Imbibe? I have a spell called Infestation. Oh. That sounds exactly what I don't want to happen. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving town. Yeah, we're leaving town. Let's, let's load up the wagon and head towards the general. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. As as long as everyone's cool with that. Yeah, I can't think of. I another can't think thing. of. I can't think of another avenue, man. I mean, a place called the Claw and didn't get any information. Uh, yeah, I, I I slept with the Claw and didn't get any <laughs> information. Right. You're afraid of the Claw. claw. I love those little guys. They were minions before minions were a thing. Mm. Very true. All right. Uh, let's see here. I don't know what all this book is. I can use it. All right. So, y'all pack up all your stuff, go grab your carts and horses and everything. Throw Doog into the back of the cart. See the general, the wonderful general today. Oh, it's all the peach juice. It's probably not a good day for anybody. Yeah, right. Uh, Maddie's going to do lunges the whole way there along the side oh, of the my cart. Goodness. All right, so you guys traveling back down along the route. I gotta see where I'm going here. Uh, um, once we town and get on the road, uh, Smith asks Maddie to step aside for a sec. You're gonna ask Maddie. Smith is asking Maddie. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, of mm -hmm. course. What is up? So I know you've been working on magic, right? Yes. Well, trying. I mean, I, you, you know I can do it with it myself, but I have a new spell and tried it. It might come in handy for combat for you. A new spell? Do tell. Mm -hmm. Well, how about I just show you? Just well, stand yeah. right there. Okay. You double in size. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what do you think? This is amazing. <laughs> Wait, um, does Remy um, see this happening? I'm not hiding. I just pulled her aside because yeah, yeah. we're both... That is now like 14 feet tall. <laughs> oh, no. All right. You just see Smith. Well, no, I was wondering if I saw him concentrating to catch the spell. Ah. Oh, that would be a secret. That, I pulled her aside. The only thing you realize is she doubled in size. Unless you want a real perception. Oh, no. I would have been an asshole and just been like, counter spell, nothing happens, and keep walking. <laughs> Daddy leans against the tree and pushes the tree over. This is incredible. 
Then after 60 seconds, you revert back. Wow. Sorry, it doesn't last very long. So, but it could, it could be handy, great. though. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? I was huge. Mm-hmm. Yes, but I mean, I was huger. Huger. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful word, huger. I can, I can do that about twice a day. How? Yeah, so. Might come handy. Maybe not necessary for combat if you need to get somewhere high. Because <laughs> how, how tall is my... Oh, she's like closing in on seven feet, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I put uh, Smith at six five. So let me confirm that. I might have made her a little bit shorter. Uh, oh, yeah. She's only 5'11, so she would have been a, like 12 feet tall. Yeah, so Smith yeah, was naturally that. taller. Yeah. But uh, still. You get an extra uh, D4 damage. Nice. I'm doing that. Or, I'm just saying, I can do it if we need to. I'd do the opposite to an enemy. Right. Make them smaller. <laughs> That's what just bring up because I've know, been noticing that she's been practicing magic and me myself is not being an actual wizard, but with some magic. Right. Isn't Maddie multi-class now? Yes. She's a whiz bard. I mean, uh, yeah, a whiz barbarian. I just, feel, I just feel like, I mean, uh, just her waking up one day and suddenly having a spell book and all the spells right. and stuff is silly. So, yeah, I just want to, I want, this is going to be a silly statement, but I almost want it to be a little bit realistic where she would have to get the book and then discover the spells or yep. have the spells in the book and then somebody teach her how to cast them or whatever. Like, I, I'm totally good with that. Not a problem. All right. So. <clears throat> Arden had a spell book just laying around and gave it to you. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like like his first spell book that had just like the low level spells in it. That he was done with. Anyone else want to see a trick? Always. Hold this battle axe. <laughs> well, all right. I go about 30 feet. It disappears from your hand, reappears in mine. Whoa, excuse you. <laughs> Big Maddie. I'm magically... <laughs> I'm, I'm magically bonded with my weapons. I can't be Whoa. disarmed. Well, if, if I am, if I am, I'm get my weapon back. <laughs> right. All right, so this is the place where you guys camped on up. Perfect. Yeah, you hear me? You, you cut out. You, this is where we camped and cut out. Oh, this is where you, you camped on your way up to Burdusk. That's why I still have the map prepped. Making stuff easy for myself. So are we camping here again? I don't know. Uh, that's why we're if just reversing if, order here. If we are camping for the night, I am going to set up my weasel trap. <laughs> and I would set up the alarm spell. Make it audible. <sighs> All right. So everybody can take a long rest. I'm not even going to roll for, for stuff at this point. And get up in the morning and start heading on down the road.
Amazing. Yep. And we're next, guys. That's just a good point. We have no idea, we'll huh? Go back through this area. Oh, yes. Yes. Should we check in with the gin, though? Was he a gin? He was a gin, right? See if anybody else has been through. Okay. Hands off. Do you know you how to, to summon him? Uh, I don't know. Hey. How I know? Somebody stick a finger in the water. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good dog. Go right down, honey. Go on. So are you guys doing anything here? You're just going to no, keep going trucking? So. Yeah. What about, I mean, okay, what? Time. Hold on. What about my weasel trap? No. So I, I don't think we're not camping here. Oh, oh okay. If we're not camping, then no. I'm about to set up my weasel trap. Mm -hmm. My other map. Right there. There's um, another map. Map, 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 map. No. Map, map, map. No. <laughs> but, 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 Sorry. That's okay. I've got. I adopted a new puppy Saturday, <gasps> and uh, oh, awesome! I thought I. I usually am on mute, but. Um, she, she's not chewing much, but she was chewing the cord to my mat. Oh, wow. Cord. So that's a, a, she's like, oh, I guess I'm, he's serious about that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, so, guys. So um, where's the puppy tax? I haven't seen that in the Discord yet. So we're going to need you to make that payment as soon as possible. Got it. Right. <laughs> Put the tax in. Yeah. Another reason to join our Discord. You'll see all of our pets. <laughs> Come on. I'm waiting for stupid Matt to catch up here. Page unresponsive. Yay. No crap. Come on. Yo. Holy mackerel. Didn't have this map preps because I didn't know you guys were going back here today. Neither did we. Right. Well, to be fair, we didn't know half of the things that were going to happen today were going to happen, huh? Imbibe. <laughs> Do we even know what's going to happen? Do we I even plan tried for everything thing? else before I went there? Okay, that's already done. Wholesome, Maddie. Uh, come on. Come on. Did you have to come back to the campsite yet to see if he's been inside the tent? Oh, you mean like where the, the gin, gin was? Yeah, it was still on the maps. I was just saying. Because those people were missing last time we came through. Right. All right. So, as you keep on traveling down, get back to the Raider camp. Can everybody see? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you see? A bunch of tents. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the unfortunately, I couldn't change that on the map. the The tents and stuff that you see are all burned. Okay. So, like the most of this area is is like charred. Right. Like they set off. A hundred fireball spells or something. It was right. just like we run down to char. the cave and see if anything is still in the cave. Okay. Let me move everyone. Oops. Come on.
And oh yeah, your skellies are not here because you sent them in on their own. Those, those <laughs> things are probably long to hit. Yeah. So y'all are down here. Do do do. I had another man. A whole bunch of stuff. Come on, Matt, work. Work with me now. There we go. All right, now this show me the things. All of the things. Do 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 do. do. Come on now. There we go. All right. Um, oh, yeah. It would help if you guys could see. So you go into the cave. Turn off the lighting. Hmm. All right. So you go into the cave and you see all of these pens or the remnants of of the pens. And again, they're kind of charred. Uh, the ones towards the, the opening of the cave. And there is just this foul, foul stench yes. in here. The uh, the cave looks like it it had been somewhat uh, mm -hmm. like it was a natural cave, but but someone came in and then like finished it out. the The walls still have like uh, the marks from the pickaxes and things on them, uh, so they're not like they're not completely hewn, but they're not uh, raw rock either. And over in this corner is. Just a horrendous swarm of flies, and that seems to be the source of the smell. Hmm. But well, uh, all the I pens seem to be empty. Should investigate. Are you investigating? Yes. Someone investigating? Mm -hmm. The investigations. You got it. Investigation. All right. Nice. So yeah, you guys go over and this this huge pile of of rotting flesh. Uh, you could see bones and stuff in there. It's, it's different creatures and things. Uh, there's there's parts of humans or humanoids. There's you could tell there's parts of kobolds and all kind of different things in there. It's like they just were whenever they had some dead, they just threw them in this pile, and were probably using it to feed the the dragon wormlings. Oh God. But since everything is gone, the pile is just sitting there rotting and decaying. Right. Festering. So there's no like remnants of the uniforms or anything like no, that? No, anything, anything like that uh, probably would have been stripped before they threw the bodies in there. Right. Okay. All right. Well. 
That's disturbing. Yeah, this was actually the map that I was yeah. that I did after the session where Lyndon L came in as a spider mm -hmm. and saw it. And if you guys um, would have come in before General Gaday did his thing, it would have been pretty interesting. Right. But now it's just charred wood and flies and smell. Um, well, that's horrifying, but I mean, can we check the pens and uh, see if there's any like dead dragon wormlings in the pens? Sure. Okay. Sure. I'll investigate take investigation now. or perception. Either. Okay. I'll do perception because my perception's higher. I'm not going to make you do one for each one. That's really high. Yeah, so high. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe Maddie got high before she tried the perception. <laughs> yeah, right? She can't get past the smell coming from the corner of the room. Smell. All right. So, yeah, with with smell. those rolls, you, there's, there's no bodies of... Of anything in that area. Okay. Mm. All right. No. Do we nothing. know where G'day was going after here? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So, are you guys leaving the cave? Yeah, I'll leave the kid. So you come back out here. And <clears throat> there are charred remains of body in with the, the tents and stuff like that. Um, but not a whole lot. Well, not as much as you would expect. Yeah, we would have to admit, although gruesome, the man is efficient at his job. Indeed. All right. Anything else you want to do here? Don't think so. I mean, we've investigated. Yeah, we're just making sure that it got cleared out. Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to do now? Good Lord. I don't know. Uh, Can I see the full map? The Sword Coast? Yeah. Uh, Michael, you had the all of the rumors, right? Where was it that and the elves were building their... Was it the Reaching Wood? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could check that out. <laughs> we just we traveled down back. Yeah. So that's where you we, guys are now, Asbron. We traveled. So we would have to travel back. Hey, didn't you get some info potentially of, of a city city that was taken over by the cult? Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Um everybody give me a perception check. Perception. Okay. Not my strong suit. Yeah, Dang, Grace. Good Lord, Maddie. All right. So with that, Graceland, you notice 
that there's something odd over here with this pile of rubble. It just, it looks off to you. Where I'm at? Yep. Muscle lady. Something here is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Maddie will go over. Smith will walk over. Investigation? Sure. Okay. Uh, with advantage because they're with you. Okay. Everybody's looking at it. That's pretty damn good. It's not bad. Not it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you reach down to, to touch one of the rocks and your hand passes right through it. Hey. Oh, an illusion. Yep. So Smith, you it it lights up. Because it's it's an illusion. Should we try walking through? Oh, Remy's going straight through it. I chase I after him. I need to keep up. Good dog. Yep. I don't know. Were you paying attention to them? Yep. The wall walls seem to be a fun thing to walk through, uh, don't you? And the tech magic stays up for the next 10 minutes. Right. Stop it. Dog nose in my armpit. <laughs> I got mine on my lap. I don't have a lap big enough for that. Girl, Maggie, show her who's boss. <laughs> uh, she's only a 60 pounder. Just think she's the tiny, almost the size of my smallest one. Mm -hmm. She's a blue red pit bull. Oh, nice. Yeah, mine's a little she's blue. Black. Oh, those are she's great dogs. Black. She's black. She's she's black and white though. As as Remy walks, then he bumps out his sword in case if something comes at him. All right. So, you expecting something there? As Smith draws his weapons. All right. Can everybody see? Um. No, it's black. I have. I, have a... I don't have anything. I have dark vision thanks to the goggles. Yeah, it has right. a light. Um, so I well, see. On, what is that dotted line there? Uh, hold on just a second. I think that's the illusionary wall. Okay, I can see now. All right. Two. Notes, notes, notes. I need notes. Here's my notes. There's some notes. All right. So. Sorry, guys. For what? For asking the question? No, I had to get my notes open anyway to, to know what we're doing here. Hmm. Okay. 
That's weird. It doesn't it doesn't say what that is. Yeah, let's 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 go with that. <laughs> Sounds good. And uh, is that blood splatter? Uh, kind of looks like it. Okay. Oh, okay. Just measuring out thirty feet because that's how far out of my detection it goes. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if that's a elevation change or not. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, right. Yeah. Not to mention, there's a line. Not to yeah. mention, there's a solid line. There's a solid line. On the end, and that line goes across the middle, so it okay, most so, likely yeah, is the... we'll, we'll call that the illusory wall. So Double what illusion. What do you want to do? Should we head in? Let's scout it out. Let's scout it out, guys. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, if, if that's the wall, then you guys are going to. Be on the other side of it. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> With us. Hello. So we're not supposed to see him until we pass this line. We are here to storm the castle. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Probably just outside the wall. Sweet. Oof. All right. Okay, so. Who is your daddy and what does he do? That means. Room. <laughs> Santa Duma. <laughs> Time to roll for initiative. Uh, 1745. Didn't have my token selected. Okay. I do not have them open. And wow, I do I not have them open as well. Oh, I did. I'm just blind. But only in one eye. Only okay. blind in one eye. I just can't see out of the. Bro, so exciting. When's that come out? Awesome. Yeah. I definitely want to see that. I'm looking forward to the uh to the new uh, uh suicide squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I read that the in his universe there was supposed to be two more uh, uh, Justice League movies, the follow-ups. All right, so Red looks like you're up first. Oh, it's not. Oh, and that's not an eighteen; it's a seventeen. Oh. I didn't have my token selected at first. There. Well, then that puts Remy first. Remy! Remy! So I walk in and I see this bad guy in front of me, right? Yeah, there's two of them there. You can see as soon as you pass through the through the wall. I thought he said he'd clean this place out. Are you concentrating on something? Nope. I think so. Let me turn that off. Be 
do do do. Should be all right. Do your thing. And I'm thinking we're going to get through one round and then stop. Right. <clears throat> What happened? With what? No. Oh, okay. No, I don't right. want to do that. I think I'm gonna. So I'm gonna put a hex blades curse on him, which means I crit on a 19 or a 20, and it pretty much does what hex does. Awesome. Where did my hex go? I had a hex. You go ahead and do your thing. I'm looking for token markers. Mm -hmm. It would be really nice if they would have put in like alphabetical order or something. Get easy to find. There. Look first to that. No, I don't want to do that because I don't want to have a spell. That's not it. Spell an idiot. Oops. <gasps> oh, my stars. Excuse me. That third hit was actually supposed to be a crit. Okay, because it was a 19. Correct. Got it. All right, I'm just going to use this as the hex for now. Plus 10. That's bonkers. Because I forgot which thing I used for hex. All right, roll your damage. Uh, how many hit? Uh, all of them. The 14 is the one that just barely hit, but yeah, okay. it hit. And the third one. Yeah. Yeah, so the third one, just, just go ahead and roll the damage, and then we'll just re-add the max for that. So that was uh, nine uh, plus six. So it's a 15. Come on. Wow. Dang, right? Guacamole. So, 42 off of this guy. And he drops dead. Yeah, I bet he Holy. <laughs> right? Right. He, he, he dropped dead by a oh. lot. Too. No, the Hexblade Curse, it doesn't add Hex damage. It adds my proficiency damage every time I hit. So it would be a plus three, four times. So plus 12. Wow. Yep. Anything else you want to do there, Remy? Yeah. And then I'll just look at the other guy and just wait. All right. And that brings us to Maddie. Okay. I'm going to try this. I don't know. You how just saw Remy just walk over to this guy and just slice him like a Cuisinart. Yeah. Um, feeling inspired, uh, Maddie will uh, find. A rock that she guesses is approximately five pounds. Mm -hmm. And she's going to cast Catapult, which will awesome. shoot it at this guy. And then she will bonus action Rage, and then she will take her movement. So he okay. needs to pass a DC 13 dex to not get hit. And he fails. And he fails. Incredible. Cool. So what's the damage? Uh, 
pop it in the chat. On a failed save, the object strikes a target and stops moving. When the object strikes something, the object uh, 3d8. 3d8. Blood. Holy moly. Roll that 3d8. 3d8. 18. And of course, the API stops working now. Naturally. So what's it look like? <laughs> it, the, the rock hits him like square in the chest and it just like embeds itself into its chest. Like you hear the bones breaking and like bladder comes out from around the rock and it just kind of falls at his feet. And then like his like chest cavity is wide open and he just falls forward. All right. I only had 18 hit points. What the hell? No, oh, less than that. <laughs> Holy. All right. So we're going to call the session there. Okay. Because um, it is almost six o'clock and mm -hmm. we need to outro and all that happy stuff. Yep. But uh, we finally got into some more combat. Down that I'm raging. And yep. I wanted, to, yeah, right. I wanted to raid the ship. <laughs> Can I do one more thing before we end it? What's up? Go ahead. Oh. Well, that's cool. I'd like to make a specter. <laughs> okay. Like, out of the cultist, they may know things. I assume they're cultists, just by their picture. All right. So I will oh, I'll have ass. that. Yeah, I'll have that for the next session. Cool. Yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to do it beforehand, just in case that way you would be ready so you know I have it. Yeah. All right. And it doesn't say that takes an action or anything like that. It's just something you make happen. That's pretty awesome. Okay. First specter. It, it is a humanoid, right? Uh, specter? No, no, no. The guy that I slayed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was a human. Okay. Yeah, it has to be a humanoid. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. No more boats. <laughs> well, you know that Shamat's going to be very disappointed if there are no boats. Oh, yeah. True, Shamat Khan. <laughs> yeah, James, I'll I'll take care of that. I got the other image for you. All right. So with that, we will end the session and the insanity that went on in Burdusk. And uh, we will start next section with uh, dungeon crawl, it looks like. Mm. And the boy has become a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the man has become itchy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, uh, well, I'm kind of sorry that, uh, really sorry that Gerald didn't get a chance to jump in here and join us for this. Uh, hopefully, next week, Mitch may be able to join us. I'm hoping, and uh, maybe we'll get a little bit of Doog action in this dungeon. Doog, Doog, Dungeon Doog. Doog, Doog, Doog. I right. rolled it. Uh, initiative. That for that's why I rolled the initiative. Oh, okay. Do, do, turn. There we go. Got to keep all my notes. All right. He's in there. All right. So, uh, again, thanks, everybody, for watching on Twitch and on Facebook. Really do appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate all the, the likes and the shares that we get. Uh, 
Hope that you stick around with Pop Culture Cosmos to check out a lot of Gerald's content. He's got so much stuff, so many cool interviews and, and things that he does all the time. There's just so much content there. Uh, and all of our other podcasts. And uh, don't forget about uh, Wizards and Wine and Vampires and Vitae and Reckless Moves, which drops tonight at 8 p.m., Michael. That's right. You can find it at recklessmoves.com. There you go. All right. And we will be back tomorrow. One of Rob's exciting one shots that right. usually take more than one shot. Together. <laughs> if you are joining, Yeah. <laughs> All right. You find some of the voices I do. You're gonna hear literally uh, pretty much every character that I play uh, is uh, gonna be in tomorrow's game. So, yes. oh my goodness, I forgot about that. Yes. All right. Bingo. Okay, uh, with that, uh, from everybody here at the Pop Culture Cosmos family of RPGs, we wish you a good night and hopefully see you tomorrow. Uh, hey, uh, hey uh, Andrew and Roger, 